Okay, today I am priming my engine. So what we're doing here is I have a priming tool back here where the distributor goes back in this area and there is a what they call a priming tool and it also has a uh, galley plug on it where it'll push all through the galleys and you can get all the air out the system of the engine and what you want to do is watch on your your rockers and and make sure that you're getting oil out so Let's give her a whirl and see what's going on here. Let's see if I can get this camera position. Let's see. That looks about right. Um, I'm gonna run this drill over here, like I said, and it's on the uh, the oil pump. So let's see. See that, but I got oil coming out there. Got oil coming out here. Oil coming out of this one. Oil coming out of this one. Pretty much all coming out of just about all of them. Now, what I'm going to do is take and rotate my crank with a five inch. 5 8 deep socket with a half inch pull bar. So I'm going to rotate the engine clockwise. And what it's going to do, it's going to move these rockers. You're rotating your, your stroke. Okay. I'll turn that for my balancer probably about a little bit more than a third. And now I'm gonna hit it again with the primer. Yep, she's all in good. See here in the back, but it's also as well all in all in real well. What I do is I just run it for a little bit, and what it does, it gets all the uh, the uh, air out of your uh, oil galley in your pocket. Before starting a motor, you want to make sure on your initial start of a new rebuild. That everything's getting good all uh, you can see down here it's just is pouring down here um, I got got a lot of oil coming out um, looking good so far so this is the left side of the motor driver's side I'm gonna do the um, passenger side next but what I'll do is I'll rotate this this harmonic balancer completely around and I'm going to run my drill about 10 minutes on each position um, you know, some people may say it's a little overkill but when you put <laughs> six seven grand in an engine you want to make sure when you start up that everything's getting proper lubrication so your rings can set right and uh, so forth so that's what we're doing today and uh, I'll go ahead and pull out this tool and show you guys what we got here. Put it back in there when I continue. But here's what we have. This is the uh, thing that catches the oil galley. This this piece here basically just slides up and covers to keep anything from falling, dirt or debris falling down into the engine. And then at the bottom of here, You've got a slot that catches your oil pump down in the uh, bottom of the oil pan, and this, like I say, this you know, this is the good thing here. This catches your oil galley and uh, makes sure it gets oil everywhere. You know, they sell two different ones. They sell one without this, where you can just spin it up, but 
you're, you're not truly getting all the air out the system. It's better just to go ahead and buy this tool. This is about, I don't know, $17 if you buy it local, like at a uh, speed shop. But uh, well worth the investment if you're going to be uh, doing a new motor to prime it up. So anyway, I'll get back to what uh, I'm doing here. And uh, we'll check it out later, see how it's doing. Okay, here we are back on the uh, right side of the motor, checking uh, to see if we can get all the the all primed before initial crank of the motor. So I'm gonna show you. That hopefully, we'll see some bubbles coming out of here. You'll see the the air actually coming out as we uh, spin the um, spin the oil pump. again and uh, continue on. Also in this process, you'll notice that you'll start building up oil in the bottom of the lip of your head. So you want to take a clean rag and just sop some of that up. Um, just make sure you have a clean rag or you'll have oil all over the side of your motor before long. So it looks like I've just about got all the air out. So next step is we're going to put number one at top dead and uh, we're going to set our distributor and start running wires. <laughs> 